to another episode of Airgun Detectives. Today, we're going to take the mystery out of the Gamma Whisper Fusion Mach 1 in 22 caliber. Yeah, that's a little bit of a mouthful. Anyway, before we get started, do me a favor, hit the little subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, in addition to that, um, if you'd like to be notified of the new videos that we come out with, just hit that little bell right there. And also, I appreciate your feedback. I really like the thumbs up. I like to see those, knowing we're going the right direction. And uh, also check out my website. See that little sign there in the corner? It looks kind of like an upside down explanation point or a lowercase i. Um, you can hit on that. Just click on that anytime during the entire video and you can actually go to my website. And there you can check out some t-shirts, a few things that I have, especially the bipod kits that I put together. Those are, I'm getting tremendous feedback on those. But all right, enough of the business. Let's get that out of the way and let's get down um, to looking at our uh, Gamma Rifle here. This is the Mach 1. This is kind of in between the, the Ma Gamma Magnums and then the standard Whispers and the Swarms and the Maxims. So this has a little bit larger piston in it, so you get a little bit more velocity. Okay, this comes with the, um, they call the IGT piston, which is their inert gas technology. It has the recoil reducing rail, which uh, I, we've talked about that before. I'm not a huge fan. It does have fiber optic sights on it. You've got a nice uh, red one in the front and it has a sight protector on the top here. And then we got the green one right here in the back, fully adjustable. Those are really nice open sights. If you're the type that likes to shoot open sights, these are terrific because you have a nice little pinpoint red dot in the front. Um, you also have a recoil pad. This actually works quite well. Um, you can even soften it up by pulling out these just little rubber inserts here. Um, you could adjust that, just leave one in, leave two in, however you want to set that up. Uh, the trigger on these, fantastic. The cat trigger is one of my favorites. And uh, they're very adjustable. It's a two stage trigger, and there's a lot that you can actually do to these just with a very small screw just by replacing that. They're on my website as well. I carry some of those screws as well. But again, you know, don't don't be making adjustments on your gun unless you're really comfortable with it or you hire a professional gunsmith to do that. This does come with a 3 by 9 by um, 40 non-objectable scope. It doesn't come with this scope. I totally upgraded it because this comes with your standard, as I said, uh, non-adjustable, and it's a 30-30 reticle. I prefer the mill dot reticle for if you're going out distances. Um, you can... Uh, adjust that just by looking through the lens. So anyway, so I usually upgrade the scopes on this. This gun has, they're claiming it's about a 32 pound cocking effort. I'm gonna push it more towards a 35, 36 pound cocking effort, but way less than the Magnum. Way less than the Magnum. Yeah, so I'm gonna, this is gonna be in the 35 pound area. The gun itself, um, uh, it's about a little over six and a half pounds. Um, this does have their Whisper technology and which gives you a, actually a very nice grip to cock the gun with. In addition to that, it keeps it really quiet. It, it really is um, backyard friendly. Um, the barrel on it is uh, about 20 and a half inches. The overall length of the gun is 46 um, inches. And what do these retail for? Mm, about 280 bucks, 290 bucks right in that area. But you get them on sale. Look for all this stuff on sale. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's see how well this gun performs. Let's take it through our uh, normal um, testing process. And uh, when we're done with that, we'll come back and talk about it. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and we'll give it a rating. So stay tuned for the next segment. We're going to test our Gamo Fusion, Whisper Fusion, Mach 1. Um, see what type of velocity we get. Uh, we're just going to shoot some 14.3 grain, um, just some basic uh, the Crossman uh, Premier hollow points. So we're just going to shoot some of those and uh, let's just see what type of velocity we get. As usual, we'll shoot about five shots and then we can average that out. All right, shot number one. That's 830. Shot number two. 847. Shot number three. 825. Shot number four. 
835. And let's go cap popped off. Last shot, number five. 828. All right, so there's your average um, and our uh, foot pounds of energy. All right, let's move on to the next segment. We're going to test our Gamo Mach 1, our Whisper Mach 1 here, and uh, see how well we can do some grouping. Uh, two best pellets in this are the um, H&N Sport, the uh, Field Target Trophy, the 14.66. If you remember, those are the ones that work really well in both our Magnum rifles as well. But I also discovered that the JSB, the 14.35s, seem to work quite well. And they, in my in my uh, practice shooting here just prior to this, I took a few shots, and um, the JSB seemed to be grouping slightly better, and I don't know why that is. But so let's shoot the JSBs and uh, see how we make out here. All right, I'm gonna take five shots. We're at our usual um, 20 yards. Take a look at that. And uh, let's just see how well this groups. Well, we're in the red. That's always good. Okay, number three here. Number four. And last but not least. All right. Well, I'd say that's a pretty respectable group for uh, 20 yards. You can see that. Let's uh, move on to the next segment. Okay, let's see how our gamo does as far as trigger weight goes. Now, I did put the uh, aftermarket screw in these. If you guys are interested in these, I got them on my website. They're really cheap. But uh, they make a big difference. So let's see, let's see where we're at as far as our trigger weight goes. Okay, two pounds, 2.3 ounces. Not bad. Like I said, these gamo triggers, they're actually really nice once you once you put that different screw in there and you put a little bit more pressure on that um, sear and uh, they're very crisp and you know exactly when they're going to go off. Alright, let's move on to the next segment. Alright, we have our Gamma Whisper Fusion, our Mach 1 here. We're going to try our luck out at 40 yards and do a little plinking here. And uh, what do we got up there? I'll show you. It's our usual distance. Got a shotgun shell, a little empty can of uh, JSBs and uh, a couple of little legs and what have you. A little target there with a little Christmas ball. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and, and try to knock those down. As I said, we're going to use the um, the Jumbo uh, Express, the Exacts by JSBs. They're a 14.35 grain pellet. So we'll give those a shot. Literally, give them a shot. And uh, let's just see how well we do. All right. Cocking effort isn't bad on this gun. Nothing like the Magnums. It's, it's probably eight pounds less than the Magnums as far as pulling on it. But let's see how well we do. Let's start from the left, see if we can take out that shotgun shell, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, it's a hit. All right. And let's get that can out of the center of those eggs. Okay. Take the leg out, the egg out on the left now. Alrighty, and let's take the uh, egg out on the right. Wow, the lead splattered from that uh, hitting that egg, and it shattered that bulb. That was quite interesting. All right, let's finish this off and knock that red pipe off. Not too bad for 40 yards, actually quite, quite well. All right, let's move on and wrap this up. 
Okay, let's wrap this up with our conclusion here on our Gamma Whisper Fusion Mach 1. Um, let's talk about the negatives first. First, number one, I think it's a bit pricey. Uh, this gun's almost $300, $289 um, for a single shot brake barrel. If you get it on sale, what have you, maybe uh, get a really good deal on one, it's probably worth it. Uh, number two, I don't like the recoil reducing rail, but that's pretty standard with any of these Gamma rifles. I don't think it really works that well. And the other thing, um, if you're going to pay this type of money for a rifle, I would think it would come at least with their um, adjustable objective um, scope, where you could adjust it for the, the distance. And uh, this has the 30-30 um, reticle on it. It would be nice to see a mill dot, but that's just me. So. Um, other than that, what's really good about it is the cat trigger. We love the cat trigger, and you put in that screw that I uh, discussed before, and it turns this into a really, really nice trigger. And yes, those are on my website, very cheap. If you guys need one, uh, don't hesitate. Um, just check that out. But uh, what else I liked was the accuracy. You saw how accurate this was. From 20 yards all the way out to 40 yards, um, this gun was actually pretty doggone accurate. We're at the 20 yards, we're getting under half inch groups. Uh, as far as velocity goes, not quite what Gamble claims. They're claiming, but they have a habit of overstating velocities. But they were claiming this gets 1,020 feet per second. It gets, um, what did we have? We had a high of 847, low of 825, so average about 833. So if you think about it, it's probably just about 100 feet per second less than the Magnum, maybe and about 100 feet per second more than your other um, uh, gamos. So you're right in there. It's still, it's putting out 22 foot-pounds of energy, which is plenty enough to hunt with. So with that, that's not bad. Again, I added the rails and the uh, bipods, just so you know. And if you're curious about those, I did a whole video on the, how to install them and why these work so well. So overall, um, and I like how quiet the gun is. Let's not forget about that because it's totally backyard friendly. And I do like um, the way this is set up with this um, it's kind of a uh, plastic shroud that goes over the steel barrel, but it makes it really nice to grip on it. And uh, another positive, again, I have to tell you, is the open sights on this. If you like to shoot open sights, they're terrific. So with that, overall, I'm going to give this four stars. It deserves four stars. For the overall performance but again as I said a little pricey so you look for it on sale and it's it's not a bad choice if you want to go in between that Magnum and then the standard one just a, the cocking effort is probably about five pounds more than um, you know your standard uh, gamma rifle but it's probably about 15 pounds less than the Magnum so it's kind of a nice happy medium so there's definitely a spot for this one so once again if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button um, in addition to that, uh, go check out my website. There might be something there you might be interested in. And uh, beyond that, don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of air guns. So stay tuned for the next episode of Airgun Detectives. So with that, I just want to thank you for tuning in on this one. Take care now.